Samsung Galaxy S Advance, expected February 2012. While the rumour mill is awash with speculation about the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S3, Samsung have, in the meantime, announced the Samsung Galaxy S Advance. Don't get excited by the name. Samsung have broken their own very new naming convention by giving the high-end S designation to an upper mid-range handset. The Galaxy S Advance is one step down from the existing Galaxy R, which you would think would earn it the name of Galaxy M, but apparently not. But it is very much a straight upgrade to the original Galaxy S handset, which perhaps explains the name. So, although it's a very much cheaper relative of the Galaxy S2 and Galaxy R, the Galaxy S Advance is still a pretty decent handset, and it's still better than most Android devices in use today. There's a 4-inch, 480 by 800 pixel AMOLED display, a dual-core 1 GHz CPU combined with 768 megabytes of RAM, a 5 megapixel camera on the back plus a 1.3 megapixel camera on the front, and the Galaxy S Advance runs Android 2.3. Internal flash memory is either 8GB or 16GB, and it also comes with a microSD slot. All the usual features are here, including GPS, Wi-Fi and 3.5G support, plus a few Samsung-specific software add-ons on top of the usual Android application base. Inside is a large 1500 mAh battery, and the whole package weighs 120 grams and measures 123 by 63 by 9.7 mm. The Samsung Galaxy S Advance is a pretty good handset, burdened with a stupid name thought up by somebody in the marketing department. Think of it as the Samsung Galaxy M instead. Samsung say that this smartphone should be available from February in Russia and will then be rolled out to most other regions worldwide.